Hello and welcome to Time Tunnel, where we find out what was making news in the past. I'm Christiane Klein in New York. Today we travel back to this day in 1972. Here are Howard K. Smith and Harry Reasoner. Good evening from ABC News headquarters in Washington. I'm Howard K. Smith. I'm Harry Reasoner in New York. These are tonight's headlines. Mujibur Rahman returns home and tells his countrymen that Bangladesh will remain independent from Pakistan. Hubert Humphrey formally announces his candidacy for the Democratic presidential nomination. The Surgeon General reports that a non-smoker may suffer from inhaling someone else's smoke. And a federal judge, for the first time, orders a city and its suburban schools consolidated to achieve racial balance. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman returned to his native soil today as president of the new nation of Bangladesh. In Dhaka, capital of what used to be East Pakistan, the Sheikh said he felt no bitterness toward West Pakistan, where he was held captive during the successful Bengali rebellion that he inspired. But he also said that Bangladesh will never have any links with the West Pakistan government. The Sheikh flew to Dhaka in a British jet, which already had taken, taken him to London and New Delhi, following his release in West Pakistan. ABC's Ron Miller reports on his arrival. Before landing, the Sheikh's plane circled Dhaka. He had the opportunity to see the estimated one million people who waited for him. Their presence and faith underscoring the implications of the liberation movement Sheikh Mujib launched, the cause to which he devoted his life. Whatever political importance could be attached to the fact that it was a British plane which returned Sheikh Mujib to Dhaka was quickly lost in his emotional airport welcome. The garlands of flowers, the uncontrollable jubilation of the Bengalis, the flying Bangladesh flag, all certify the changes which occurred during the past nine months while Sheikh Mujib was in West Pakistani custody. Extensive security precautions were abandoned in the crush to embrace, touch, to just be near, the man who symbolizes the Bengali's successful fight for independence. Finally, the masses had an opportunity to see the one man they hope, they expect, will change their lives now that the war is over. Sheikh Mujib would make a public appearance at the Dhaka race course, where, before his arrest, he had promised his people liberation and victory. The loyalty and allegiance these people feel for the Sheikh cannot be questioned. Most observers agree that if Sheikh Mujib has a problem with his followers, it is that they now expect too much of him. Promises of a bright future must now be tempered by the reality of Bangladesh. 75 million Bengalis focus their hope for the future on Sheikh Mujib. To his followers, he is more than a political leader. He is the savior of this land. But after the celebrations, the immense problems facing Bangladesh must be met. And at times, the solutions will be extremely difficult, perhaps unattainable, even for Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Ron Miller, ABC News, Dhaka. A White House spokesman said today that the possibility of humanitarian aid to Bangladesh is under consideration by the Nixon administration, but that no decision has been reached.